Hey, Earth Signs, it is the Sun Sage, and thank you so much for tuning in to this general love reading for my Capricorns, Taurus, and Virgos. So we're going to see what the energies have for Earth Signs, what's going on in your love life, um, and what could be coming in. All right, so let's take a look. Okay, this is a general message. So take what resonates for you, leave what does not. All right, if you need a personal reading, check out the sunsage.com. Link is in the description box. All right, Earth Signs, what's going on in your love life? Okay, what's going on in love for you at this time? What is the energy of your love life? All right, the High Priestess. So you have a gut feeling about something, the Five of Cups right now, Earth Signs. You're very in tuned right now to your emotions and what you're feeling. You're not resisting what you're feeling. Something doesn't feel right right now, okay, in your love life. Um, I feel like with the High Priestess and the Five of Cups, you could be um, being led by your intuition to leave someone, okay? With that Five of Cups, I'm getting the energies of feeling like... Um, no matter how many cups, emotions, feelings, new beginnings you have with someone, it feels as if this is something that you should leave behind. You have a fear of regretting leaving this person behind. It could be a Pisces. What do we have for Earth signs? Their love life. The Page of Cups. You have to start over in love for some of you and the two of wands and you don't know what to do. That's what it is. You have a choice right now. There is a two of pentacles right there to start over. Um, for a lot of you, it feels like it would be to be single, um, to not be attached to anyone romantically. And you're not sure if you want to do that. I feel like with the page of cups and the two of wands, there's... I feel like there's something good coming in, okay? I feel like there is some good communication coming in. I think you have been waiting for a while now for communication from somebody who is just disappointing consistently. And so I feel like um, your intuition is telling you to start over, um, telling you to embrace uh, some new um, energy here. What? Let's keep going. Tell me more about Earth signs and their love life. Five of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Strength. There's a half-hearted apology coming in, possibly from a Leo, another Earth sign, Nine of Swords. I feel like this person just wants you to stay. There's the tower right there. Um, this is happening now or it's about to happen. We are still in Scorpio season and this could be like some three month drama or some drama that goes on for a while until Pisces season, which is February, March. The moon is right there under the tower. Um, you know, the person you are inquiring about is keeping something from you. And I do feel as if this is coming out very soon, whatever this is. A lot of you kind of know. Um, with the High Priestess and the Five of Cups, you love someone who cannot be trusted, okay? You're involved emotionally with somebody that you really can't trust. Um, and this person is coming in with an offer, an apology, a gift of some kind, maybe even a tangible gift, but it feels like it is just to keep you from leaving them. This person is very insecure. They feel like they need you. And if you leave them, they wouldn't know what to do. Let's clarify these. What's the high priestess here? Nine of swords. You already know what your, your gut is telling you to do in this situation. Most of you is telling you to leave. A lot of you is telling you this person is cheating. You're not the only one. Three of swords. Um, a lot of you is telling you this person is strategically withholding um, communication from you, giving you the silent treatment with the high priestess and the nine of swords here. There's definitely somebody that's given silent treatment to a lover. 
Um, somebody is sorry they ever gave someone a chance. Five of Cups, the star. This is an opportunity to heal from this relationship. It feels like a broken relationship and now is an opportunity to heal from it. That is what you are. That's what your intuition wants you to do. Heal your heart. Prioritize that over mending things with somebody because they're not showing up strongly. And if they are showing up, they're a page at this time, which means most likely they're not giving you what you want at this op at this time. And so you are being encouraged to heal the wounds that I feel like this person has done. Like there's just a lot of emotional lack here and it's time to like replenish yourself, right? Because some of you are thinking in terms of, I want to fix my relationship and something is coming through five of wands that may not be in this energy at this time fixable you're, it's just going to like, you guys are going to keep fighting or keep disagreeing about something. And so you do have an opportunity to start over. Um, some of you do have some good news coming in or some sort of like, um, communication, some type of notification is coming in. <clears throat> you don't feel excited about it. Nine of wands, you're too wounded to start over. That's what it is. Somebody could be wanting to date you right now, a new person, but you could still be very, invested um in in what this person you've built something with is doing page of swords there's too many pages for a significant offer to be coming in and so what i do feel is that there's communication with you and your person i feel like you are tempted to give them the silent treatment and then you give up on that um you could be dealing with somebody who is not um respecting you who is not reciprocating your love somebody you feel you're too sensitive for and need to block yourself from but you're having a hard time doing it um you could feel very indecisive at this time the two of wands not sure which path you want to take with this person leave them stay with them work things out just let it be the nine of cups some of you feel like i'm so close right i'm so close to what i want why would i walk away now right um and so i feel the energy of you still having a desire to give this person a chance, another chance to work things out with them because you feel so very close to what you want from this person. What's the five of swords? Staying could be sabotage, sabotaging yourself though. What's this five of swords about? It's the devil. So I feel like this is where you have an opportunity to make a different decision for yourself than you have in the past fire. I mean, earth signs, you could be dealing with a fire sign, but um, this is Capricorn energy here. Um, I feel like if you stay in this situation, this person will continue to like cheat or deceive you or something. What's this devil? <clears throat> judgment this is a betrayal they're betraying you right now for some of you this is coming out right now a lot of you are really confused or signs you don't know what to do it's not in you to give up on this but you're dealing with somebody Their, their sneakiness is about to be exposed or something they're doing is about to be exposed to you. Five of swords clarified by the devil and judgment. Um, this, this is going to help you make your decision. All right. Their behavior, they're doing something behind your back. That's what it feels like. And that's why the apology feels half hearted because they're going to keep doing it behind your back. They just want to keep you. They don't want you to leave. So they may say, I won't do it again, or I'm sorry. Remember, these offers are very small. It's not offers of like, I'll commit, you know, I'll change. It's offers of bare minimum to get you to stick around. Let's take it. All right. Yep. Yeah, two of swords. So what's going on in your love life is your intuition is telling you 
for a lot of you, what you haven't been wanting to face, you're dealing with somebody who is lying to you, cheating on you, betraying you. And it feels as if um, your desire to reach a certain goal with them is overshadowing the fact that this person may not deserve to reach that goal with you. What have you been investing in is the question now. What is this apology by them, right? So if they're going to apologize, it doesn't feel sincere. It just feels like with the two of swords and the seven of pentacles, it puts them or keeps them in a situation where they can still keep leading you on. Um, for a lot of you earth signs, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's leading you on, um, continuously um, giving you promise and hope that if you invest, it'll lead somewhere. And what I'm getting with strength and the nine of swords, you probably already know the truth about that, um, that this person is incapable, incapable of fulfilling that promise. That was your worst fear, that the person you invested so much time in, you would have to give up on them at some point. Why is strength here? Strength. A lot of you are being called to be stronger than you've had to be in a relationship in a while. The person you're dealing with is um, a big problem here. What's the strength? Temperance. I feel like strength coming out twice is... Almost giving a sign that you and your person, you're both not changing things. And so it typically works for a little while, right? And then there's a lot of... um. What's this temperance? There's an imbalance of energies here. Page of Pentacles. So two people doing the best they can, but still getting the bare minimum result. Page of Pentacles is not an awful message to get, you know, or, 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 or offer to get. But it's like after all this time, you know, and we're still fighting or we're still in this position, that's exactly what this person can offer. More of the same. Because with strength here, there's a lack of change in the situation itself. A lot of things are staying, right? Being held onto. Nobody's expressing, I don't feel free in this. I don't feel good in this. Let's just temporarily do the quick fix. And so something is coming through where with the nine of swords, whatever you and this person are not saying to each other they're acting out behind your back as a way to get freedom yep nine knight of wands exactly what you know they're up to right um i mean i feel like what's happening in your love life is you're just dealing with somebody who doesn't seem to be very invested in a committed relationship while they do want you, it looks as if their actions are saying, I don't want to settle down. And for some of you, this has been going on for years. What's the Knight of Wands? Six of Swords. Um, somebody's afraid of being left. Okay, so that could be you, Earth signs, but somebody's afraid of being left by this person. I'm almost getting that the, those two strength energies. I don't want to be the first one to leave. I don't want to be the first one to leave, you know, but both of you want to leave, something like that. So there's a situation that's going to get too overwhelming to hold on to. And at the bottom, you do have the tower. Something's got to give... This night, somebody may leave Sagittarius season, the end of November, December. Somebody may absolutely leave this connection. Neither of these are your energy, technically, so they could leave. 
But you're both right now, you're both holding on for dear life. Like, seriously, <laughs> you know, um, you're keeping it together. But it does feel as if um, someone is going to leave very soon. The connection that is OK. Earth signs, that is what I have for you. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if this resonated for you. And if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.